Right, this is a video that I hope I'd never be making. I've broken down, so I'm stuck just about to join a motorway. I went from first to second gear. I noticed a, a, a judder come through the gear shift. The car seems to be stuck in second gear. Literally, um, there's the selector. The clutch is not doing anything right now. Basically, I've moved over to the passenger side for safety. I'm stuck over here. Just uh, bought breakdown cover. I'm waiting to be towed. The car is stuck in gear. So obviously the, uh, the gear plates have sort of seized somehow. There was nothing wrong with my car. It's run perfectly until I got the transmission oil changed. Someone even commented on my video that don't mess with transmission fluid unless uh, it really needs doing. Never had any issues with the, the gearbox before, so I have no idea what's happened. You don't want to be sitting somewhere with your hazard lights on, parked up like this, half on, half off, blocking the road, and generally, it's an embarrassment to see a Porsche broken down. Oh, you don't normally see a Porsche broken down by the roadside. Still waiting for this breakdown truck to turn up, and it's the worst feeling to feel when you're stuck in your pride and joy, just stuck, helpless, wounded by the roadside. That's exactly how I feel. What you don't want to do is have a large cup of black coffee before you leave to go to work, knowing that when you get to work, you'll have a pee, and then be stuck in a car. I know it sounds corny to say this, but the knob is very floppy. I'm hoping it's one of those rare coincidences where I got the transmission fluid change. It's the first time it's ever been done in the car's 10 year life. Something funny happens. I'm hoping that the gear shifter has disconnected from the actual linkage that goes underneath, because obviously I was going from first to second gear. It all went loose after that. Um, don't know why it happened just now. Maybe that's just one of these sods laws things. So there's my pride and joy on the tow truck behind me. What a bloody day it's been. What a bloody day. I've spoken to the Porsche garage. We think it's probably the, yeah, the gear shifters come off the linkage inside the car. They said something about uh, the, the ones made out of plastic. Apparently it's some known issue. That's not the sight you want to be seeing. Uh, we're the breakdown truck. Oh, it came and is behind us over there. You know, what a sight. Well, I didn't expect this when I woke up today. I'll tell you that, I did not expect this. So the way this breakdown cover works is they've taken me to a safe location and they didn't make it clear to me when I bought the breakdown cover. They can only take me to a safe location. They're going to drop me off here. Now I've got to wait for another uh, truck to come pick me up. will then take me to my garage which is seven miles away from here. So now another guy is going to try and up to try and see if they can fix the car. I've been told they won't be able to fix it because the gear linkage is snapped and then I'm going to have to wait for another truck to come pick me up again even though I was on a loader over there to take me to my local garage seven miles away. to my new Porsche 1500 brake horsepower so there's one benefit of breaking down in your car you get to you get the unexpected look at this beast I mean I've broken this a 996 methanol injection you'll see some of the pictures it's an absolute beast all right just chatting to our owner a really nice guy this car is insane it's absolutely insane if anything positive is coming out of me breaking down it's seeing this car check those wheels yeah the more i've had a chance to think about it i'm hoping it's got nothing to do with the transmission fluid change and i'm just hoping the the gear shift is dislocated off the linkage that goes underneath the gear knob so still waiting one hour 20 minutes later 